Yo guys, it's Sam. I hope all of you are doing well. Today I want to do a really quick tutorial on how to screenshot and reboot the brand new iPad Pro because while it was the same for a number of years, there's no home button on the new iPad Pro, so the way you do it is a little bit different, but still really easy. First up, how do you screenshot? So if you're holding your iPad straight up in portrait orientation, it's going to be on the top right hand corner of the device. You're going to press volume up and the lock button at the same time and you'll see, voila, immediately you do get that screenshot taken. This is going to work everywhere around your iPad, just like you can screenshot anywhere on your iPhone or your old iPad. You can do it the exact same way on the new iPad Pro. You just use the volume up button rather than the home button because there isn't a home button here. All right, so that is how you screenshot on the new iPad Pro. Second, how do you reboot this device? Every once in a while, I've experienced this a ton with Apple products. They stop working right, you see some weird visual glitches, things disappear, it's super annoying, and a lot of the time, a quick reboot will actually fix all of those really small issues. So what you wanna do is press once on the volume up button, once on the volume down button, and then continue to press and hold the lock button until the screen goes black and you see the Apple logo. It takes about 10 seconds, sometimes a little bit shorter, sometimes a little bit longer, but 10 seconds is usually the sweet spot for me. And you wanna keep holding this button until the Apple logo comes back up. As soon as you see the Apple logo, you are good to go. It might look like you've done something wrong because the screen will go entirely black at one point. Just keep holding the lock button until the iPad turns back on. With the A12X processor inside, the new iPad Pro is crazy fast, so you should get back to work in no time. That was a super quick video I know on how to do this, but it's really easy. They're just a little bit different than on the iPad in 2017. That's all I've got for you in this video. If it helped you out, drop a like. It always helps the channel out. And subscribe if you want to see more videos about future Apple products. I've been Sam. I'll see you guys in my next video.